The Owa Aledinma Flow Station was built following the conversion of Oil Prospecting License OPL275 to Oil Mining License OML147 in production sharing contract with its senior partner NNPC in 2014. The flow station is expected to process 11,000 barrels of crude oil and 90 million standard cubic feet of gas daily when fully operational. Before we started construction, we did a Reiki survey to see a suitable area where this flow station can be suitably sited. So we did very detailed uh, Reiki survey before we now narrow down to a place called Owaladima. Owaladima is in Ikanotis area of Delta State. And the land is measuring about 1,000 by 800 square meters. The flow station can handle 20,000 barrels per day and 70 million scuff of gas. It is in modules and thus expandable. We have five compressors. Each one can handle 14 million scuff of gas. And that's what made up the 70 million scuff of gas. So if per adventure, we found out that at the end of the day, we're doing more than 70 million scuff. So all we need to do is to just bring another compressor which can handle 40 million scuff and we, start, we hook it up. So it's a modularized system. And again, the flow station itself is set to process. It will process, stabilize, and uh, separate a multi-phase fluid into oil, water, and, and gas. You know, the primary responsibility of a flow station is to handle your fluid as it comes. Because when, what, when oil is coming from the surface, it, it comes with crude oil and we call, it has BS and W, what we call basic, uh, basic sediment and water. So it comes with a lot of water and you have the gas. So the EPF, itself, the flow station itself, is to separate this multi-phase fluid into, into gas, oil and water. We can handle 40,000 barrels of oil on site at any point in time. Then the gas will be compressed and sent to a gas compressor. Then from there, it will now be piped down to our gas plant in Ogarifi. If you look back, you see four storage tanks. The first two, that's the crude oil storage tanks. Then you see the one in the middle. That is the produced water storage tank. After the oil is stored in the tank, it's allowed for stabilization. After stabilization, it will now be linked up via a six-inch oil line that is laid from that Owa Ladima to our JV facility, which is about 65 kilometers away. So from there, it will now enter into a storage tank. From there, we have a, what we call latch unit that we measure what is going, what we are transferring. It has a cross storage transfer. So you measure what you are transferring to JV. Then from there, it goes into the export tank where you now export the oil. In this case of the gas, the gas will be compressed. Then it will now be sent via two 10-inch line to our gas plant in Ovadi. From there, to, it will be treated further. It will be treated to Lingas then, and uh, you now be handled by JV. What the JV does essentially is for them to just treat that uh, gas for us. Built to process 11,000 barrels of crude oil and 90 million standard cubic feet of gas daily, the OML 147 Owa Aledinma Flow Station in production sharing contract PSC with NNPC is expected to have a positive multiplier effect on the Nigerian economy.